Okay, in this video I want to show you how to link up your scanner to the uh, Amazon Seller app. Um, it's not as difficult as it looks. And, uh, you know, I, I did originally, I uh, downloaded free apps for um, a couple of them, which, as you can see there, there's one for uh, Profit Bandit, Bandit, which I downloaded. And I tried to link it up to my phone with no success. And then I tried Scoutify, and I tried to link it up to my phone and scanner with no success. The reason is, is because you got to link up in order to try the free version, or or just to do just to communicate with Amazon in general. You have to have what you call it's called a MWS, which is a it's a data service provided by Amazon where you can link up, you know, different data, um, data software, and etc. And so you just can't have a regular seller account on Amazon to uh, in order to have it, which I think is ridiculous because, first of all, you're working for Amazon. You know, you're out there humping your butt, spending your time selling for them. So you'd think that they would say, hey, at least they're on Amazon and they are trying to, uh, to uh, move product on our website. So you think that that would be a service that it wouldn't be an upsell. But pretty much what it is, it is an upsell because in order to get NWS service you have to um, either have a professional account which is like 40 or 50 bucks a month um, you might have to you'd have to sign up with one of these programs like where they can send you produce um, and then there's three or four other ones but basically you have to pay more money which is fine you know um, every barrier that that you have someone else will have and so you know, it might prevent a lot of people from getting on that can, can compete with you that aren't serious. Well, you know, I'm doing this for a hobby, so I, I, I'm not planning on spending 40 hours a week doing it, and I just want to do it like in my spare time. But as of right now, I don't have a budget to spend 40, 50 dollars just on an extra service for Amazon. And then these are paid services. You know, Profit Bandit's 10 bucks a month, which I heard was really good. It's an awesome app, especially if you're doing it full time. You know, you'll make your money back in a in a minute with it. Same thing with Scoutify. Um, uh, Inventory Lab is the one that offers Scoutify, and Inventory Lab I think is like 500 bucks a year, and I think they provide Scoutify for free. And I've actually heard awesome things about that app. The only two negative things about both Profit Bandit and Scoutify. You know, of course, we're talking about that you can't use it without getting a professional um, a seller account with Amazon. But um, the negative things is is that a lot of times it won't give you, uh, it won't tell you if the item is restricted. So if you're selling, because it doesn't give you that immediate uh, information from Amazon, so it won't tell you if the inform if it is restricted or not. And so you might end up buying something that you do not really want to buy, being that it's restricted. Uh, it'll, I think it'll only show like the, the top 20 lowest sellers or something. And since it doesn't give you a full, full broad range that something like uh, the Amazon Seller app would do. And Amazon Seller app, of course, is, you know, that's the uh, icon for Amazon Seller app. That's the one that you use for, um, you know, that's done by Amazon. So let's go ahead and click on it. And the question is, is can you use a scanner on Amazon Seller? Well, there's no particular link that you can use it with, per se. So you, so when you hit scan, for example, and by the way, I already got this connected through Bluetooth with my phone. This is a Samsung Galaxy S6 and Bluetooth, and it's using AT&T. All right. So you can see there I'm connected to with my Bluetooth. The only thing you have to do is get connected, and then... Um, on the seller app now you would think normally you would just go scan and then you would scan an item with with your Opticon or whatever scanner you have it's not going to read on your Amazon app so what you have to do is you go to sell a product or whatever and you just go to search as long as that indicator is blinking then the only thing you do you scan your book and so you can see there it pops up and so you will have to tap it on every time you just tap the X 
and then you could tap you could do another one it's still pretty gosh darn quick you know um, so it's manually typing in the search as soon as you do that and of course you know with the Amazon app of course it'll give you the rating and the lowest price the used price so we'll have to go search and I would recommend this I, you know the scanner is going to speed up your is going to speed you up a lot more you know a lot quicker as compared to doing it just directly on your phone because you could use two hands and you can go around corners and everything with it even as a you know I got this particular one used um, on eBay for 170 bucks and you can get it anywhere for you know 100 bucks to 300 bucks a brand new one they have for like 300 bucks but this one was only used a couple of times at a trade show um, money well well worth it you know it's a one-time fee and it's going to speed up your work like crazy if you're just doing this for the weekends or going to flea markets and stuff like that but uh, and eventually I might you know uh, upgrade to inventory lab and pay the 500 bucks a year you know if I were decide to do this more often it would probably be worth it um, but at the time being I'm you know I'm sticking with the Amazon seller app keeping my prices low and keeping my inventory low and all that stuff and we'll see how it goes alright thank you for watching